Many drivers wonder if leaving their engine idling can recharge a weak battery, especially on cold mornings or after short trips. The answer isn't a simple yes or no. While idling can charge a car battery to some extent, it's far less efficient than charging while driving. To understand why, we need to look at how your vehicle's charging system actually works. A car's electrical system relies on three main components, the alternator, the voltage regulator, and the battery. The alternator, driven by the engine's belt, converts mechanical energy into electrical energy in the form of alternating current. It's the primary source of power once the engine is running. The voltage regulator, a built-in control circuit, keeps the alternator's output voltage steady, typically between 13.5 and 14.5 volts, to avoid overcharging or undercharging the battery. The battery itself, a 12-volt lead acid or AGM type, stores electrical energy for starting the engine and stabilizing voltage when demand exceeds supply. When the engine runs, the alternator powers the vehicle's systems and recharges the battery, but how effectively it does so depends heavily on engine speed. Alternators are designed to produce maximum output at higher engine speeds. At idle, which is typically 600 to 800 RPM, the alternator produces minimal current, often just enough to maintain voltage between about 13.0 and 13.4 volts, and power basic systems like fuel injection, lights, and infotainment. In some cases, there may be little or no net charging to the battery. At cruising speeds around 5900 to 2000 RPM or higher, alternator output rises significantly, usually between 13.8 and 14.5 volts, easily powering all accessories and sending surplus current, often 20 to 50 amps or more, into the battery. So while the battery can charge at idle, it often does so slowly, and in some cases, not at all if the vehicle's electrical load exceeds what the alternator can supply at that low speed. Several conditions determine how well your battery charges while idling. Electrical load is one major factor. Running headlights, defrosters, air conditioning, or a sound system increases demand. If total electrical draw equals or exceeds alternator output at idle, the battery won't gain charge. Idle speed also matters. Modern cars with smart alternators and low idle speeds for fuel economy often produce less charging current than older vehicles with higher idle RPMs. Temperature plays a role too. Cold weather thickens engine oil, raising mechanical load, and reduces the chemical activity in the battery, making charging slower. The battery's own condition affects things as well. A nearly full battery accepts charge slowly, while a deeply discharged one may require higher voltage and current than idling can deliver. Finally, alternator health makes a difference. Aging alternators produce less current at all RPMs, and a weak alternator might not charge effectively even during normal driving. In real-world scenarios, the results vary. Idling after a short drive, for example, might restore some charge, enough for another engine start, if the battery is only slightly depleted, but it won't fully recharge it. Idling after a cold start in winter will charge the battery very slowly, since most of the alternator's limited output goes toward heating systems, defrosters, and engine management. Modern vehicles with smart charging alternators often reduce alternator output at idle to save fuel, prioritizing charging during deceleration or cruising, which means idling does very little. Older vehicles from before the 2000s, which typically have fixed voltage alternators, maintain moderate output even at idle, so light charging is more likely. Hybrids don't rely on idling at all. They use their high voltage systems to maintain the 12V battery. Electric vehicles use DC-DC converters instead of alternators, so the concept of idling doesn't apply to them. The verdict is that idling does charge your battery, but weakly and inefficiently. At idle, most alternators can maintain or slightly increase battery charge, provided the electrical load is low. However, the rate is slow, often only a few amps of charging current. To fully recharge a low battery, the engine would need to idle for hours, consuming fuel and producing unnecessary emissions. Driving, on the other hand, charges the battery much more effectively because the alternator spins faster and can deliver higher current output. There are several good practices for maintaining a healthy battery. 
Driving regularly for 20 to 30 minutes at normal speeds is far better than long idling sessions. When idling, limit your electrical load by turning off accessories like the air conditioning, lights, and defrosters if you're trying to recharge the battery. For cars that are infrequently used, a smart battery maintainer or trickle charger is safer and more efficient than idling. It's also wise to check charging voltage with a multimeter. While the engine is running, the voltage at the battery terminal should read between 13.5 and 14.5 volts. Anything lower may indicate a charging issue that needs attention. Idling also has environmental and economic downsides. An idling engine burns fuel without moving the car, typically between 0.2 and 0.5 gallons per hour for most engines. This wastes fuel, emits carbon dioxide and pollutants, and adds unnecessary engine wear. From both an environmental and financial standpoint, idling purely to charge a battery isn't practical. Taking a short drive or using a plug-in charger is cleaner, cheaper, and far more effective. In summary, idling charges the battery slowly but surely and alternator output depends heavily on engine speed. The higher the RPM, the more charging power is available. Heavy electrical loads at idle can cancel out any charging gains, and both cold weather and weak batteries reduce efficiency. Driving for 20 to 30 minutes is a far better way to recharge a battery than idling for hours. For weaker stored batteries, a proper charger or maintainer is the best option. Idling wastes fuel and increases emissions, so it's best avoided when possible. In short, idling can maintain or slightly boost your battery's charge, but it's not an effective way to fully recharge it. For real results, take the car for a drive or use a charger. Your battery, your wallet, and the environment will all benefit.